My name is Michael McGann, M-I-C-K-E-L-M-C-G-A-N-N. -N. Uh, my rank is first lieutenant, and then my duty title for the exercise is team lead. Well, I expected to learn a lot because I don't know anything about combat camera yet. Uh, I've been a traditional public affairs officer for my, I guess, first lieutenant career. So what I expected for my first time coming to Scorpio Lane is to learn quite a bit. It's my first time in, I guess, something of this, this capacity. It's my first exercise in combat camera. Well, the first day we came here at 0645, and the first inject was we had no power. So we had no power, we had no internet, and we had to find a way to be able to set that up before we started running our start eggs. So far, I think the training is amazing. I, I definitely had a lot of good feedback. I like the way that we, after each portion of the exercises, that they did feedback sessions after each one. So it kept me focused and keep on, to keep on going. I do think that Scorpion Legs is beneficial and educational because I think it would help me to better perform as a team lead in, in the field. My biggest takeaway, I think my biggest takeaway would be the feedback, especially, all the, fee especially the feedback session after the capabilities brief. I think the biggest thing was I got a little bit nervous because I didn't understand the full extent of our capabilities as, as the airman here in combat camera. So I think the feedback from the CC, the DO, and also the operations cell helped me out to be more confident when I deliver my capabilities brief. That I do not know everything. So what I learned as a team lead is that I thought I knew what I thought I knew, if that makes any sense. Uh, but coming into it, I definitely learned a lot from my airmen. I learned a lot from my NCOIC, and I've always learned to trust your NCOIC. This exercise definitely did help me grow as a leader. It helped me learn to respect the airmen in a new light. Well, I guess I think I'm biased with my team performance because we're team one, and team one is the best one. Uh, but I think they perform very well. Uh, so to start day by day, I guess we start about a week out. So a week out, we got a lot of injects of what the scenario was, what we we're going to be doing, where we'd be set up. Uh, about three days, three days till we started getting our uh, equipment together. We ran a bag drag over here at, at the logistics center. We made sure everybody had their equipment, batteries, cameras, uh, Pelican cases, make sure everybody was good to go. Uh, Stardex on Monday was kind of light, so it kind of gave an introduction to ComCam, introduction to uh, Scorpio Lens, why we broke it up into different phases, um, and why we did a, a crawl, walk, and run uh, style scenario. Uh, those first two days were about classroom, making sure that we had, again, gear checks, what it'd be like in an austere environment, and how we would set the tents and start from there. Uh, day three would have been, uh, we, started, we started X at 0645. Um, we first ran a couple lanes, a couple training lanes from information operations, a medical training lane, uh, flight operations, uh, battlefield assessment. Uh, so the training lanes uh, incorporated information operations, which meant that they were going to do um, a regular like humanitarian support and get some covert information for information operations. So it trained the airmen to be uh, to use a situation awareness to gain some photos for information operations. So while in taking these photos, they can see certain things that might be going wrong, mismanagement of resources uh, for our flight ops. So we use our assets here, our C-17s at, at, at on base to get them flight hours, but also to understand that um, so get them in, in, the, in the routine of doing things when they, when they deploy, going TDYs um, or do any type of exercises. Uh, for the battlefield assessment, this helped them with their situational awareness uh, because there are a couple of things that they had to find on their own uh, without any guidance. So it was, it was give them a chance to look around from what happened after a hurricane damage to see if they can find maybe like a dead body, um, sensitive information, uh, laptop, any type of gear like that. Um, and the medical one, the medical lane, training lane was uh, geared towards making sure they found the right shot to uh, show our assistance and humanitarian support in crisis response. Uh, I would say that this is a great experience for all team leads or anybody uh, for that matter, even a veteran. Um, it kind of refreshes the baseline for veteran airmen who have been in combat camera for a long time, but also it establishes a baseline for the new airmen coming in and also the new officers coming in. Uh, especially as a team lead, I think there's a lot of things that we think we know as officers or uh, senior NCOs, and these type of things kind of iron out those details for us.
favorite part about Scorpio Landers would definitely be the interview right now because <laughs> Team One was awesome, just letting you guys know that. Uh, but I think with seeing the capabilities of our OLC and OLA partners, um, seeing the, the capabilities that our airmen bring in to see what they actually do in the field. Um, my motto for my, for my flight in general for combat camera is stay ready so you have to get ready. So this sees how ready they actually are to deploy um, or to do, go to TDY, to go any exercise. I mean, we're able to, capable of, of spinning up in, in 12 to 24 hours to go anywhere around the world. Um, so this definitely gave me a chance to see that. Uh, the goal of Scorpio Lens 19 was to teach the airmen that our job is um, more than just tactical um, and, and primarily about crisis response. Uh, our, our primary job is to click a photo, not shoot a gun, um, and to teach the, the airmen that it's not just about deployments or TDYs, but we can also provide humanitarian support, being that it's our most robust mission here at uh, Combat Camera. Uh, every month we have a crisis response team that is postured to go anywhere around the world within about 12 to 24 hours and support an incident commander in what they do um, on the ground. So the, the big, I think the big factor here was crisis response and how we respond in a, I would say, a different threat environment. Um, it's not about pulling a trigger, right, but it's about, it's about using the power of our imagery, showing the world that, that not just what America is doing in a host nation, but what that host nation is doing to help themselves um, and our effort in that. I believe it did in, in, this, in this phase because it, it is a crawl phase, so it gave a chance for the airmen to look at each lane separately and not as one whole entire um, grouping of taskings, right? Uh, they got to separately go through each lane and say, okay, today I'm doing, or this two hours block, I'm doing battlefield assessment. Uh, this two hour block, I'm doing information operations. Uh, this two hour block, I'm doing airfield ops. Um, this two hour block, I'm doing uh, medical evaluation. So these things kind of slow down, I guess, the field for the airmen to help them comprehend that when you fit all of them together, you can package something to an incident commander and be um, provide them an answer without the question. Um, you can show them what you can bring to the fight and uh, show that information is a warfare capability. Um, I'm Staff Sergeant Rose Goodix. I am a special tactics combat photojournalist. I am with the first combat camera squadron operating location Alpha. This exercise was a little bit different than the previous Scorpion Lens, so I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, but I knew that it was going to be broken down a little bit more to the fundamentals. Um, so I was kind of excited to break it down and build from the foundation up. Rather than hitting the ground running, we were able to make sure that we could all learn the same thing. Um, so just being able to, to take everything back to basics is kind of what I was expecting, and turns out that's what it was like. Some of the objectives that our team were tasked with were information operations or battle damage assessments or there was a medical scenario. So each scenario had something different. Say the medical scenario, we had to go in as we would combat camera into the scenario and ask what the team was doing there and how we could help them document. So the medical team had a scenario where they were treating patients. And so our job there was to document what was happening um, and be able to push that story out or for battle damage assessment. This was a hurricane that Combat Camera was documenting, so our job there was to document all of the damage that took place on a logistics area, and that was gonna help them really capture the extent of the damage. So like the person that I interviewed for that story was saying was they can have numbers all day long, but putting a picture to really capture that helps leadership really see um, the impact of it. I thought this training was beneficial because it really took us back to basics rather than just trial by fire. Whether you were a new airman or an experienced airman, we all took everything back to basics and really built a foundation of what our core tasks are as combat cameramen um, and made sure everyone had the same foundation so that way we could move forward knowing each skill that we had to master.
I think the biggest thing that I gained from this version of Scorpion lens versus the previous one, I was brand new to combat camera on the previous Scorpion lens that I went to, and that one was just super fast paced, which is beneficial on its own, but as a new combat cameraman, I wasn't really sure what the expectations were. So in this scenario where things were broken down and it was really a crawl, walk, run phase, um, it helped learn specifically the skills that we need to know. So information operations wasn't something that I had much knowledge in or battle damage assessment wasn't something that I was super familiar with. So taking it down to basics really, I thought helped understand what our capabilities are and build on them. I think my team performed great. Um, we had a really awesome team dynamic where people came from different backgrounds, whether it was public affairs or they've been combat camera for a long time. We all pooled our skills and we were able to help each other out. So if we went into a scenario and many of us didn't know, say information, information operations, I wasn't familiar or hadn't had experience in it, but someone else did. So they could experience, they could share their experience downrange and how this is how we're learning it in this scenario and this is how it's applicable downrange. So that was very beneficial.